Oremos, Cristian. Concede, Señor, a tu siervo, alimentado con esta Santa Eucaristía, procurar tu gloria y la salvación de tus hijos, siendo siempre fiel ministro del Evangelio, de los sacramentos y de la caridad, por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. There are so many incredible people to thank, and I just want to thank everyone together. A special word of thanks to those who have been so involved in the formation of our deacons now, and as they were candidates for the diaconate. So I'd like to especially honor and thank Father Roy Shelley, who at the beck and call of Mr. Bryan uh, said yes to establishing our first diaconate program in the diocese. So Father Roy, to Deacon Nick Pasculi, who did so much to assist him, to Deacon Andres Larasa. Let's have them stand up and take a bow. I know your wives helped, not yours, Roy, but I know their wives helped a lot too, so. Thank you to your wives as well for all their assistance, and Claudia continues to help us so much. I also want to thank in a very special way uh, Deacon Bill Dunkley, uh, who's now our Deacon Director and who assists us in so many different capacities. Deacon Bill, thank you to you as well. especially wanted to be MC for this ceremony, not only because he has one of the deacon candidates in his parish and now deacon, but also because he has great love and taught a lot of our deacons. Uh, so, Father Matt, thank you for MC today. We wish you well in your transition also going down south now. Father Matt, thank you. Musicians, let's thank them for the beautiful music. <laughs> and all of the women and men who assisted us in the liturgy outside, inside, everywhere, and preparing. So let's thank them all together in one wonderful <laughs> Thank you all for being here and uh, for all of your ministry and your example to this new group. And as you know, we started a brand new group, so we want to recognize them wherever they are. Our new deacon candidates, would you please stand? Diaconos, empezando ahora, y las esposas están aquí, and the wives, and you're also here. We recognize you. There are two types of deacons that we have right now in serving in the church, and those are permanent. That means they're going to be here forever. No, not really. <laughs> they're going to be here a long, long time serving. But um, transitional deacon is, means that he's on his way to priesthood. And as soon as Father Roy gives the okay, uh, we're going to ordain Miguel. Más o menos, right? Más o menos, yeah. 
We're going to ordain him very soon to the priesthood, as you know, he's helping us in St. Mary's Parish here in Salinas. So Miguel, welcome to the diocese and welcome as a deacon now. And I know that you're going to listen very attentively as Bill reads your assignment. So I thought of sending one deacon in particular up to Alaska <laughs> and then switch with his brother in law to have his brother in law come. I guess that's not going to work, Terry. Terry wasn't too excited and thrilled about that. <laughs> your brother can visit and you can visit him up there. Is that okay? All right. Thank you. today is Clark Rutledge, and he's down in, in the Moore Bay area, serving there in St. Timothy's Parish. And the other day, during our study days, he said, I have something to present to the new class of deacons. It's a beautiful icon that he, I think the appropriate word is he wrote. I think that's the appropriate word when you do an icon. And so he wrote this for all of you, our new class, Deacon Stephen. where the deacons can see it or have them take it home for a week and then return it and give it to another deacon possibly. But anyway, it says on the back, God of compassion, may your spirit enable us to imitate the generosity and servanthood of Stephen the deacon, first deacon. May we be witnesses to the gospel of justice and peace as was Stephen the preacher. May we never hesitate to be healers and reconcilers as was Stephen the worker of wonders. May we live our lives in your promise of eternity, as did Stephen the martyr. Again, it's Stephen Clark and his beautiful wife. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon this icon. Be a constant reminder to all of us that we are to serve our people. Amen. Amen. With ordination as deacon, these men now receive assignments from the bishop. No longer just working in a parish, they now have responsibility within the whole diocese. So this is the moment they've been waiting for. This is where the ones who currently live up north will go to the poem. <laughs> and as Bishop said, we're still thinking about that move to Alaska. Deacon Jim Burroughs, assigned to Old Mission. San Luis Obispo. <laughs> the deacons also have ministries outside the parish. And the bishop has asked Deacon Jim to also have responsibility for low-income housing ministry in the, in the area. Deacon Ed Callahan, St. Rose of Lima, Pastor <laughs> Uh, to 
to, uh, support to the liturgical ministries of the diocese. Deacon Tom O'Brien. <clears throat> <laughs> St. Joseph's Capitol. <laughs>
also a teacher of this wonderful class, so we remember him and his own transitions in his life at this time. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who has called you the service of others in the church, give to you a great zeal for all, especially the afflicted and the poor. Amen. Que Él, quien ha puesto su confianza en ustedes para predicar el Evangelio de Cristo, nos ayude cómo vivir de acuerdo a su palabra para ser sinceros y fervientes testigos. Amen. Amen. May He who has appointed you stewards of His mysteries, make you imitators of His Son, Jesus Christ, and ministers of unity and peace in the world. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to you.